Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Boo HD here. I hope you guys are doing well. I just want to say two things really quick. Number one, sorry about this winter scruff here. I'm trying to grow up my beard for winter, but it's not really going so well. Uh, number two, I'm probably going to say 2015 instead of 2016 at least once in this video, so bear with me. It's going to happen. So just like that, 2015 is officially behind us and a fresh new year is upon us. Uh, the year 2016 is going to continue to inject tech into our daily lives more so than the last. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to discuss some of the tech we can expect to see in the year 2016 and I've narrowed it down to about five main categories. Number one, smartwatches and wearables. So we've seen a lot of wearables in 2015. Apple released their own wearable called the Apple Watch, which is kind of a big deal. Samsung released the Gear S2, LG released the Watch Urbane. Uh, we've seen a lot of smartwatches, but they're all basically just accessories to your smartphone. That's not a bad thing at all. Just about everybody has a smartphone, so it kind of makes sense to just make an accessory for the thing that everybody has. But I think in 2016, we're gonna see a lot more standalone smartwatches that can take calls, run apps, display notifications, all without needing a smartphone to connect to. With that said, we should see the new Apple Watch 2 as well as plenty of new Android Wear watches in 2016. Number two, smart cars and or autonomous vehicles. So autonomous vehicles won't make the rate of consumers this year, but we'll continue to see loads of progress being made to self-driving vehicles. Uh, we'll just continue to get them ready for the following year or following years. Um, we can also expect many, if not all new cars released or announced in 2016 to feature smart connected capabilities. Now, I'm not a big car guy myself, mostly because if I become too obsessed with cars, I'll want to go out and buy a shiny new car that they can't afford. So I just don't go there, but I can appreciate a good looking car. Uh, but we can expect to see, you know, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to be deeply integrated in the cars of 2016. Number three, smart home appliances. Now I love smart home appliances. I purchased several smart home appliances back in 2015 and I definitely plan on purchasing more in 2016 as they're becoming more and more connected than ever before. We can expect a deeper smart home integration with our smartphones as well as devices like Amazon Echo, which turned out to be a huge hit, a huge surprise of 2015. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see just about every manufacturer release their own version of Amazon Echo in 2016. We've already kind of started to see that at CES 2016 here as Samsung uh, came out with fresh new TVs that have smart hub um, features tied into them. So yeah, that's kind of where it's going. Number two, smartphones. Now I'm gonna make a separate video for this category, but I expect smartphones to be more powerful than ever, as well as also being more lackluster than ever. So I think we've really reached a plateau in terms of performance to the point where a year old or a two year old smartphone can still compete very well to many of the smartphones released of 2015 or 2016. I think the one feature that is the most groundbreaking or revolutionary, I hate to use that word, um, in 2016 is going to be 3D touch or force touch, which was first debuted uh, with the Apple iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Um, it's the one feature that is really fundamentally different than the rest. So we can expect it to see or we can expect it to be further implemented in apps and iOS software this year. We can also expect to see other manufacturers like Samsung implement their own 3D touch functionality in their own devices. Number one, you guys can probably guess it, virtual reality. VR is the one industry that I think will really explode in 2016. It's not going to be something that, you know, everybody will have or need or want right away, but with the power of marketing, I think it'll get there over the next year or two or three, it might take a little while, but I think the consumers will want to eventually adopt VR. So we've seen the Samsung Gear VR in 2015 and late 2014, uh, but in 2016, things will be different. We should also see the launch of Microsoft's HoloLens headset, which is AR or augmented reality. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see more AR headsets launch or get ready to launch towards the end of 2016 or into 2017. So that's just an overview of what we can expect to see launched in 2016. I'm sure I didn't cover everything, so if I missed something, or if you just wanna let me know which device or which devices you are most excited for in 2016, let me know down below in a comment. If you enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you hit the thumbs up button, maybe subscribe if you're brand new. We always appreciate that, but as always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya. 
I think I did pretty good. I don't think I said 2016 instead of 2015 or 2015 instead of 2016. Whew. Do, do, side, side note. Do you guys say 2016 or do you say 2016? Special comment down below if you are watching this. All right, I'm going to go. See ya.